Welcome to the CyberWire's Career Notes podcast, brought to you by Recorded Future, delivering advanced security intelligence to disrupt adversaries. I'm James Hadley, founder and CEO of Immersive Labs. I was given a computer by my dad uh, when I was about uh, eight or nine years old. And uh, after that, I became a bit of a, an addict in terms of uh, geeking out. So first of all, programming, but then also trying to find ways of doing things that it shouldn't do. Um, be it try to get to programs that should have been, you know, uh, not have the capacity to run or to try and find ways of getting to different parts of the operating system that might have been blocked. So um, when I was at school, they didn't really have much in the way of computer studies, uh, either uh, as a qualification or as a a side subject. So um, at 16, I went to college and uh, specialised and did a a sort of a two-year course in computer studies. And it was after that that I applied for and joined GCHQ. I spent the next 10 to 15 years uh, consulting across uh, government departments, the UK Ministry of Defence and some commercial organisations, including um, sort of spin outs from Betfair, uh, a trading platform. And then it was prior to starting Immersive Labs where I had my probably my most fundamental career change, which is I became an instructor where I was teaching cybersecurity as part of the GCHQ Cyber Summer School. Well, what I identified was academic background had very little bearing or influence on how individuals developed over the course of the summer school. And I realised that passive classroom-based learning doesn't really suit the people or the pace of cybersecurity. And that's because the content is dated very quickly and it's quite one-dimensional, so it doesn't really get the creative minds uh, in the room uh, engaging. I think I'm a very driven individual. One of the things that I'm most proud of is Immersive Labs is the speed of which we've grown uh, over the last three and a half years uh, in the marketplace. So I'd say I was very driven, very fast, um, but also very caring as an individual. My favorite part of what we do is speed. So we react to what's happening in the world very quickly. So, for example, within four hours of WannaCry hitting the headlines and crippling the National Health Service here in the UK, we were able to get a practical hands-on copy of that lab to all of our customers within four hours. So I think the thing that I'm most proud of is the speed of which we can react to helping our customers. As a solo founder, it's quite a lonely experience building a technology company because you essentially have to learn everything everything across the whole organization yourself for the first time be it sales marketing customer success technology support it's uh, investment for example share options everything that needs doing in the company is the first time that you're doing it Um, and i'd say the biggest challenge is probably doing it alone use the internet. Everything to get into cybersecurity is available on the internet. It's free to acquire and learn. Don't get hung up or focused on certifications. For me and for the Immersive Labs value proposition, certifications based on multiple choice exams on a true barometer or uh, evidence of capability and instead spending time on what actually interests you, for example, blog posts or research, and then try and get that across to prospective employers, because that will go a lot further than uh, pieces of paper. I think now in the the world we live in, everything works. It's quite seamless. So for example, if you take cloud computing or uploading files or sending emails, everything works. And that's because obviously computing is, is a global worldwide accessible item for the majority of developed countries. When uh, I was younger, um, sort of going back 20, 30 years, you could actually fix a lot of the things yourself because you had to, or if something didn't exist, you had to create it because it wasn't ubiquitous. And I think because things don't work, you have to apply that troubleshooting and perseverance mindset to achieve your outcomes. 
Whereas as now, because the world is so interconnected and so global, you rarely get a chance to have to troubleshoot or fix something because if it doesn't, you'd probably find just another supplier or another device to use in order to achieve your outcomes. There was no copying and pasting of uh, code from the internet. You had to figure it out yourself. This CyberWire Career Notes podcast is made possible by Recorded Future. Recorded Future delivers the world's most technically advanced security intelligence to disrupt adversaries, empower defenders, and protect organizations. Subscribe to Recorded Future's weekly podcast, Inside Security Intelligence, to go inside the world of cyber threat intelligence. Each week, you'll hear stories from the trenches, details on established and emerging adversaries, and insights on the cybersecurity industry. Visit recordedfuture.com slash podcast or wherever you get your podcasts to learn more.